Hey, budgeting friends, I am back with you for a weekly check-in and to do my transaction log and to stuff envelopes too. So I was really hoping to have my new envelopes here. I think they'll make it by today, but I just could not hold off. My mail right now is like all over the place. So I don't exactly know when my mail is supposed to be here. So I just, I have things I got to get done today and this is one of them. So... Um, I had to move on. So as you can see from the last time we, I, um, did my sinking funds and all of the good stuff. So definitely go back to that one. I'll list it up here. Second of all, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear by the, um, difference in my voice or like the sound in my voice. Um, you won't probably notice, maybe you will on the table. It's no longer, it is a different table, but I have officially moved down to my new office, at least for my planner stuff. Um, hopefully for all of my stuff here in the next two or three days. Um, so be on the lookout for that video. Cause I did record everything on how I transformed my basement into an office space, but you will see that we're a little jiggly today. Um, I got to figure that out. Um, and a few other things. So bear with me as it is a new spot. Also my tripod is like, I put it in the wrong spot at this point, but it's literally right where my elbow has to go to right. So we're going to figure this all out guys. So it's all good. But anyways, I wanted to stuff my sinking funds with you first. I have not pulled out money for eating out household or any of these ones. Actually, it's like uh, none of my other like cash envelopes um, yet because my husband is just, he's not a fan of the cash sometimes and having to ask for it or remember it or that type of thing for the gas. Um, eating out, we had already done an eating out before I could get to the cash and I'm back to budgeting, not on just one paycheck on two. So I'm trying to still figure out like when all of this is going to come out. So, and for groceries. So we're figuring it out. That's why we're going to do a weekly check-in so that I can make sure that we're going to be under budget with all of this stuff and be okay. But I did pull out the sinking fund money. So we did pull out $200. So that's what we're going to do right now. So there's my thing for that. And we don't need that one. But like I said, I'm praying that my new envelopes are coming and we are definitely sticking to this. Um, so that's why I said I had done just this in the beginning to, so that I didn't spend money on, cause that's kind of, you know, backwards and budgeting on envelopes, but we are sticking to it. And these are just too big to fit in purses and all that kind of stuff. So I did go down to having somebody do them for me, but they are taking forever to get here. So it is what it is. All right. So I'm just going to set out my cash here. All I did was get 20 tens and fives made it as easy as I possibly can. Hopefully I didn't really think about it too much, um, and go about my ways. So a uh, car tags, I recently finally just got, um, our tag, um, bills. <laughs> Ouch. It is going to be two, three fifty. <sighs> um, I don't have that much and I won't have that much saved up because of COVID. I, I might've gotten pretty close before I realized that we needed to start this. Um, but I only started it like right before COVID. That's when my budgeting all kind of started and then COVID took over. So we weren't able to stuff. But luckily we have savings. It's not going to be horrible, but I'm still going to stuff for this month and for next month. It's not due until the end of the month. So hopefully that is. And I've been putting any extra cash. So my husband went and did um, cans. And so he gave, came back with $15 towards that. And I put it into this one because this is the most important one right now. So we should have... $90 in here. So, I mean, almost, we probably will have one taken care of. I'll probably have the littler car taken care of, but not the bigger one. And y'all can see that I am not organized in my money. Like a lot of you are, I just stuff and go, I don't have time for all that, <laughs> but we're going to get organized here. 
Okay, so there should be, I don't feel like it feels like it, but 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Yep, perfect. And we are putting 50 in here today. So we might actually get there um, on one of the cars, like I said. On one of the cars, I will probably put an another 50 from our sinking funds into this cash envelope. And then I will have a good number on what we will need for next year since both of these cars are newer. Um, to us, we didn't know exactly what we would need. So, all right. So on 7, 13. And if we get any more cash, then I will definitely put that in here and try and get it. So we should be at 140. Yeah. So, and one of them is literally, well, without the recreational pass, one of them's 153. I won't get the recreational pass on that one. Um, so it'll be 141. So we've gotten one car. We got one car. So, hey, one is better than none. And coming up with only $200 instead of $350 is a lot better than anything. So next we have Christmas and I am putting 60 into that. So... I'm going to need you to come back here, mister. 313. So we should have a total of 135 in this one. Oh, that's my fives. Like, what did I do? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 1, 2, 35. 135. I'm excited to see where this one goes also and like... Because we have never done that before. Okay. Haircuts, which I'm is at zero. Yep. Um, and we're just putting to 20, so it's at zero. My husband pretty much takes from this every single time. So um negative 20. I didn't even write it down. Seven, thirteen, we added twenty. He pretty much takes that twenty every time. So I got to make sure that he's not using his allowance for that though. Vacation. We're not doing anything. It has nothing. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. Meds. We are only putting 10 because we are pretty, I mean, $110 in here is really good for when we come back off of our insurance. So, oh, actually this says we have 130. Oh, you know what? Nope. It was... I have healthcare in here. That's what I shouldn't have. I have two um, sinking funds in this. I have a healthcare and I have um, medication. So let's not get that confused. Anyways, so, but it still says, let's see what we got here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20. So 120, which is what I thought. Yep. 110. Yeah. So I don't know what happened here. Oh, cause I totally didn't add right. 90 plus 20 is not 130. That would be 110. <laughs> That's what I did wrong. So we added $10. So now we have 120 and y'all, I'll probably stop stuffing this one for a minute. That will get us quite far in their medications. So I'll start focusing on other ones like card tags next year, but I only put 10 in there. So I might just keep on putting 10. I'm not sure. Okay. The other one that I have in here, cause I just haven't gotten another envelope is healthcare, which is at 20 and we're putting 20. This is healthcare is, um, bills that, um, we have in healthcare and I'm trying to pay off some debt right now. And that's what this is going towards. So $40. So I will be, I am trying to pay another bill off here soon. So I'll be taking from that 40 also soon. All right. Next is baseball. Why am I adding 37? Oh, did I put some ones in here? Let's see here. I don't know what I'm got going on. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, 
this is um, some, uh, some money that we got back from baseball. So we kept it in baseball. So what I did is I added, I was only putting 20 in here before. If you see from my other videos, now I'm putting 37 or I was only putting, what was I putting in there? This is 17. Yeah, I was only putting 20. I'm adding 17 more. So hold on guys, we'll get it together. Anyways, so five or 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. But we had cleaned this one out um, with baseball before. So on seven, one, we minus 111 and took it down to zero. And on 713, we're adding back 37. So now we're just working for baseball dues for next year. All right. Eating out, I didn't take out. Emergency. And we're putting 20 and 10 and 20. I am trying to get this envelope up to 1,000, guys. So it will be slow. We have savings. This is just like an emergency fund. So, um, I don't know. It just, I'm trying to get this up to a thousand. Anyways, um, so we had 40 and I added 20. And 7, 13. So 60. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, 20, 40, <laughs> 50, 55, 60. There we go. So perfect. All those are done. Hopefully my next envelope um, stuffing, I will show you guys new envelopes. Um, I'll have some. I did not buy all of them. I have a lot of envelopes and they were expensive. So I started out with some and I will keep on adding to them week after week. So, but so far I'm pretty happy. And then I'm not going to end that out because I don't know what we'll take out. Like we probably take out haircuts and bring that back down to zero. Haircuts is literally just something that we take out every month and put back every month. So it is what it is. Okay. Next, we are going to do my transaction log and a check-in. I probably will do the step tracker later. I want to do just one video on that. So let's do my transaction log and then week one. So one problem with being down here is my kids are upstairs and I can't tell them to be quiet anymore. <laughs> so you're going to hear her. Hopefully we'll see how much we hear out of this. And yeah, that's about that. I'm just waiting for bank accounts. Okay. So let's go to our calendar. We're going to do week one and week two, I believe. Week. Yeah. Cause week one is technically only four days and we're going to do that one. So I don't know where I put my week one stickers at. Oh, well. Week one through four.
that's all I have. There might be more. I'm not going to close that out because a couple of things are pending for the 11th. Okay. So we're at least going to close this one out. It looks like I might have two more purchases for the 11th coming through. Everything is, it's just Monday. So everything's still pending probably tomorrow. All right. So, um, here, cause I'm going to need another page for obviously my transaction log. So we're going to go here I'm trying to make sure everybody can see. Okay. I am still in love with this type of, um, this washi, I'm still, I love this washi. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> back to regular sketch programming. Yay. Okay. So, and that way I can flip back and forth actually here and add everything up. So, week one, um, and the categories I'm tracking are going to be gas, feeding out, household, and spending. Oh, I guess I'm unbudgeted. Oops, don't know how to, right, okay. And gas is 400, eating out is 100, household is 100, spending is 150, and that. So spending is also our budget, like our allowance. Um, and actually this is 75 because he already took his, he took his 75 and still, so he'll be spending my spending money. Brat. I have to get him back under control. Okay. So let's see. It looks like we have two eating out. So 1903 plus 158. Yep. For that week. So we spent, oops, 2061. So 100 minus 20, 61, we have 79, 39 left. Gas this week is 28, 41 plus, that's it on that week. The next week is where we went crazy, 28, 41, four, oops. 400 minus 28, 41, 371.59. I am messing up so much, guys. You guys are probably like screaming at me right now. 371. I'm going to have to go get my white out nowadays. Oh, you know what? No. Yes. I do have white out sitting right here. If you guys didn't know, I, ooh, gosh, um, the other day I posted this, like, huge deal on Tomvoe Whiteout, um, it was, this was three bucks for ten of them. Look at how handy they're coming in. Yeah, it was an amazing deal, and I think, like, it was still going the other day, so I'll post, if I'll go and see if it's still there, and you guys can get it, but literally, th it was three bucks for ten of these, or something like that, like, three or four bucks. It's crazy. Okay. And I have all that. Anyways. All right. Glad I figured that all out. Okay. Household. Yeah, that was grocery. Okay. Household was 39. We only had one. Yep. 39.71. Which was... 60, 29 left. I had to buy two fans for this house. So it is what it is. It was so hot. 
Um, I actually didn't have any spend. Oh yeah, we did eight sixteen. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Um, eight sixteen plus nineteen oh seven. Crap. Twenty seven. Oh, I think I put my things in a little bit too close. Twenty seven, twenty three. I gotta space them out a little bit more. Um, a minus a seventy five. Can't just go back. Oh yeah, I could have. Seventy five. So, oh my goodness. Twenty seven. I'm just messing up today. So we have forty seven. 77 left of that and then unbudgeted we had 105 this was an oil change so we're down 10502 i'm hoping to not have any more unbudgeted but you know it is what it is all right week two and like i said i'm not even closing this one out i thought i was going to but i can't see two pending posts so from the look of it, I need to slow eating out household and probably spending all down on week two. That's awesome. Guy, we, we have to do better. <laughs> we have to do better. And sometimes it's my husband. My husband doesn't. He'll get it. <laughs> he'll get it he's just not always some days he is all about it and other days he's not so all about it so he's getting better i just should have gotten his 75 dollars to him a little bit quicker that's going to be my main objective here soon is just getting him um his stuff a little bit quicker because if i don't he's still spending it so it is what it is i'll just well, deal. So, but so far we're tracking and that's the main point. Like let's track. And, um, I actually am going to make a little bit more money this month, um, with my photography. So I'm ha like happy. Like I got one big job this month. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I think next month, if I'm on top of it, I'm going to get August done. I'm going to get August um, kit done here soon and get it going so that I can start pulling out money for gas and for everything else. Um, hopefully next month we can even decrease our gas budget because he'll be coming home next month to work instead of being in Saginaw. So we'll be doing that. I A lot of people have been asking me about my car insurance and if I called for the reform laws, I did. It isn't going to help us right now because of our insurance that we have right now um, is Medicaid since my husband's insurance um, dropped us when he lost his job. And so it literally was $1 more extra, actually. So I just kept everything the same. And hopefully in the next 60 days, we'll get this to drop down. Um, the problem is, is then my husband's income will drop because insurance will be coming out of his car. So. Thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely let me know if you guys have any questions um, in the comments below. I will pretty much ask anything. I, you know, this is the hard part about putting yourself out there is that we, you know, I open myself up to, uh, you know, subjection and all that kind of stuff. But we are doing the best we can. Um, and I, I think that we're doing a pretty decent job. My unemployment is completely held up. That was a lot of questions I got on my last budgeting video. Um due to trying to verify my identity. I hope that I got everything turned in today and they will release all of my unemployment. Um, I'm not going to get it obviously for this week um, that I have this big job coming up this week. Um, I claimed everything and so obviously I will not get that, but that doesn't mean like it, it is different for self-employment because that means like next week I, do, I, I don't have any income coming in next week. So the next week I will get it. Um, it's just one job and just the same as like my wedding next week or the first of the month, even though I'll pretty much stop unemployment. 
um, this coming up month because I will have my wedding coming up and I did have two weddings. One already has canceled. So yeah, there goes another $4,000 out the door that I should be making next month. But it was supposed to be a really good month to get us back on track with all of our income and it just didn't turn out that way. So thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you in the next one. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the, um, that thumbs up to help YouTube let you know, or help, uh, can't speak to help YouTube know that you loved my video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one.